What's good everyone, Infamous Legacy here back at it again with another Marvel's Avengers Gear God video. In this Gear God video, we'll be taking a look at Black Widow's Classic Power Legendary and Exotic Gear Set, also known as an Infiltrator Gear Set. So with this gear set, you guys can get the gear pieces from any regular Hive, Elite Hive, or Villain Sector missions. And then even with certain gear pieces, you guys will also be able to get it from the Helicarrier vendor, which is Roy. And with the vendor gear, keep in mind it is only legendary type of gear that you can obtain with certain gear pieces from the classic power gear set, especially for Black Widow. And if you guys know about offline dates and things like that, the heroic piece is usually a common piece that a lot of people go for, but you'll be able to get the legendary version if you are offline date farming. So in terms of the missions that you guys can obtain these gear pieces from, here's an example. We got the elite desert hive, we have the regular hive missions, and then you also have villain sectors like this. So all villain sectors, all hive missions can drop these type of gear pieces from the classic power gear set. And there is a rare chance they can be an exotic version as well. And you guys already know with the legendary version of these gear pieces, the third perk will always be different from the exotic gear. Now moving on to Black Widow's gear pieces within this gear set, we'll start off with the heroic piece, Stealth Assistance, 3.2 increased heroic charge rate when invisible. Amazing piece right here. With this gear piece, a lot of people actually use a legendary version of this and I'll tell you guys why after this. We also have Assault Empowerment, 57% chance activating a Widow's Bite grants an intrinsic burst. So that's pretty decent as well. Then we have Power Surge Extension. So the exotic version is not really used just because of that last perk. Because with the legendary version, you guys can get perks like this. Berserker Spark that helps with your heroic charge burst. Or you can even get other perks like a Berserker buff that helps you grant a damage buff. So personally, if you guys have watched my Black Widow Lightning Fist melee build or hybrid build i use the legendary version just because the perks are much better to me than this exotic version so here are some examples then you can also get a perk like this ramp rampage rampage and vulnerability and if you are a black widow player depending on if you are going range valor and precision are the two key stats if you're going hybrid might Valor and Precision like what I have here or like what I have over here. Or if you're going strictly melee, Might and Valor as well. But great heroic piece. I highly recommend you guys try and get the legendary version. The legendary version again can drop from the villain sectors, the high missions or the vendor in the helicarrier. So check it out. And then moving on to the defensive slot. This can come with Resolve, Resilience, Intensity. We have Rampant Rush, 20% increase in health regeneration while overcharged. Then we have the second perk, 20% increase in amount of overcharge gain from each attack. And then we have the third perk, 15% reduction in the rate at which intrinsic energy is depleted while overcharged. So a lot of perks that relate to being in an overcharged state. And you guys already know, to get in an overcharged state, if you don't take any damage and you constantly attack an enemy and your intrinsic meter completely fills up, you'll be put in like an overcharged state. This gear piece, you guys will probably find other defensive pieces that are much better than this. But again, if you are trying to complete your collection for the classic power gear set for Widow, these are the perks. Moving on to the range slot now. This comes with intensity, precision, and proficiency. Sometimes it can roll with two out of the three stats as well, especially with all those other gear pieces I've been showing you guys. So this one comes with Arsenal Frenzy, 10% increased fire rate of all weapons. Pretty decent, especially if you're using full auto or full auto or pistols. And then the second perk can either roll with pistol shot, full auto, or high caliber with different status effects. I don't really use this piece right here. I usually use a range piece from either one of the end game content missions like the Discord and Sound Elite Raid 
or if there are future raids coming out i probably use a different range piece from that this gear piece is all right but definitely something good if you are starting off to build like a black widow range build and then the last perk we have range capacity this increases the ammo capacity for all weapons by 12. But I would highly recommend getting this piece with a different status effect with at least full auto or pistol shots. So you'll be able to spam a little bit more. And the fire rate, the first perk with the rate of fire will actually help that. Last but not least, we have the melee slot right here. This can come with might, proficiency, and resilience. I have it with might and proficiency. Comes with stealth impulse, 20% increased stun damage while invisible. And then the second perk, you guys will know, it can roll with different combinations of light combo finishers or heavy combo finishers or even signature attacks. And then it also comes with the third perk, Lethal Nimble Overdrive. Gain a smoke grenade for a brief duration after defeating enemies while overcharged or when perfectly evading an incoming attack. So, alright melee piece. I was lucky enough to at least get it with Might and Proficiency and with Vibranium Status Effect with Light Combo Finishers. This is a very useful piece if you are just starting your Black Widow build, like melee build. But you will definitely come across better pieces than this in the future while you're running missions. And again, not all exotic gear pieces can be better than the legendary gear pieces due to the fact that sometimes the legendary gear pieces might have better perks even though it won't have better stats so that goes around that goes across the board for any gear set technical power gear set apex power gear set or even this classic power gear set so sometimes a legendary version will have better perks than the exotic version but the exotic version will have better stats all right so overall highly recommend you guys aim for the heroic slot first and definitely try and see if you can get a legendary version even though your stats are not as high as let's say the exotic version it is what it is this one has better perks because of that third perk so legendary definitely aim to get that then after i'll recommend getting the range piece and then probably the de defense or melee piece Okay everyone, that was a breakdown of Black Widow's classic power, exotic, and legendary gear set. If you guys do have any questions, let me know in the comments below. If you guys enjoy content like this, let me know as well in the comments. And I will be keep, you know, providing you guys those tools you need to build characters up in this game. And also continue providing these gear guide videos. Until next time, I'm Melt. You guys take care. Peace.